Brian Magalio on here at the St. Mary's Athletics Hall of Fame ceremony. Here with new inductee, OJ Garza. OJ, congratulations on this honor. First off, what does this honor mean to you? Oh, it's a great honor, you know, like I say at the beginning of my speech, uh, you know, you play sports, not, not, not for awards or anything like that, you know, uh, if you do, it's for the wrong reasons. But, you know, uh, I mean, I, I couldn't ask for anything better, you know, not for me, but, you know, more for my family, you know, all the sacrifices that, that they made for me, you know, growing up, you know, for my dad being a little league coach, my mom being a team mother, whatever it may be, brother and sister, you know, always getting the equipment that I needed you know, to, to, to become a good player and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, it's just a great honor, you know, for, for me. And you, had, you mentioned your father. Your father presented you here this afternoon. Just talk to us about having him up there and how special it was for you. Oh, it's very special. You know, when I got that phone call, you know, they asked me, you know, who was going to be my presenter. There was no doubt it was going to be my dad. You know, he's not, you know, only my father. He's my best friend. And like I tell everybody, if I ever get married, he's going to be my best man also. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's something that, you know, I know he deserves. And, you know, like I tell everybody, you know, a couple of teammates ask me right now, where's your, your national championship ring? And I've only worn it one time for a picture. And other than that, it's my dad's. You know, I gave it to my dad as soon as we received it. Uh, because, you know, him and my mom deserve everything, you know, that, 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 I, that I go through. They deserve everything. And I, I played and I did everything for them. And you mentioned that national championship in 2001. That probably one of the more fonder memories. But what are some memories uh, do you have of your playing time here at St. Mary's? Oh, you know, those playing times was good. You know, my first year that I was here in uh, in 99 was, you know, hell of a year. I had a pretty good year. And, you know, I was coming back strong in my 2000 year and hit a line drive up the middle and during our inner squad and started walking towards the dugout because my, my hands started swelling up. Um, what was it, two weeks later, I come back, you know, after therapy to try to swing. And once I took that swing, the bat flew out of my hands and, I knew we were done, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up seeing a doctor, Dr. Uh, Green from Spurs, and sure enough, there was a break of, you know, called the hook of the hammock. But, you know, it was unfortunate because I had good friends there. You know, I think we could have done good things there too. But, you know, God does things for a reason. So, you know, I was able to come back strong with my buddy, Jesse Gutierrez. And I remember with him, you know, when he was trying to recruit here, coach said, OJ, I know you know him. So there's only one thing you gotta do, you gotta bring him here. And I said, no, no, go for it, coach. So we talked and we bonded and for the whole 2001, it was just me and him working out all the time after school, after practice, whatever it may be, just to get to where we needed. And like, like Nando said, man, you know, we played what, 15, 16 D1 schools and we only lost one game to them. I mean, we could have played any D1 school and we could have, you know, beat, I think we could have beat it because our pitching staff we had and, you know, our offense that we had was just unreal. Well, I appreciate you spending some time with us. Congratulations Thanks. once again. For more on the St. Mary's Athletics Hall of Fame, log on to RattlerAthletics.com.